Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. My name is Ayub Karim. Welcome to my channel, Quran Inspires Me. In one of my previous videos, QIM114, I spoke about information. And when any information is used positively, it translates into knowledge. When certain prophets were given certain revelations, they had to translate that into knowledge. For example, what if Prophet Moses did not take his people out of Egypt? And what if Prophet Noah did not build the ark? There would have been serious negative consequences. I believe that every prophet performed their task without any doubt or any hesitation except one prophet according to the Quran. That prophet is Nabi Yunus or as others say the prophet Jonah. Now I take it that most people know the story of Jonah and the whale or prophet Yunus and the fish. But to refresh our memory, let us look at what the Quran says. We read in Surah 21 verse 87 and 88. Wazannuni is az zahaba mughadiban. And remember Zunnun when he went away while angry. So Allah informs us that Zunnun, in this case, referring to Prophet Yunus, that he went away while angry. The Arabic word that is used here is Mughadiba, which means angry. So let us talk about anger for a while to understand what is happening here with Prophet Yunus. Anger is a weakness, but people generally think of it as a strength. In actuality, the person who does not display anger has more inner strength than the person who displays anger. At first, the sparks of anger sets you on fire and then you burn others with your anger. So your anger not only hurts you, but it hurts others as well. So anger is an effect. As long as there is a cause, there will always be an effect. Anger stems from, in most cases, from two very negative emotions which are foolishness and selfishness. There are three types of anger which brings out how we react to a situation that makes us angry. The three broad categories are number one, passive aggression, number two, open aggression and thirdly is what we call assertive anger. Open aggression is the one that resorts to confrontation and or violence. Passive aggression is when one walks away from the problem that caused the anger and to ignore the problem without looking for or coming to a firm resolve or solution. Assertive anger is more of showing annoyance to the problem or to the person or persons responsible for creating or allowing that problem. Prophet Jonah displayed passive anger because in surah 37 verse 139 to 140 we are told that prophet yunus ran away to the loaded ship wa inna yunusa and indeed jonah laminal mursalin was one of our messengers is abaka when he ran away ilal fulkil mashhoon to the loaded ship now the question is why did Prophet Yunus ran away to the ship. It is because he abandoned the command of Allah. He was running away from the instruction that Allah gave him. So Prophet Yunus displayed passive aggression. Coming back to Surah 21 verse 88, Allah informs us why Prophet Yunus ran away from what he was instructed to do. Fazanna Allah naqdira alayhi. And he thought, that we had no power over him. The word that is used here is Zanna, implying that Prophet Yunus was working on guesswork. He assumed that Allah had no power over him. But nevertheless, he still ran away from his mission. Then he called in the darkness. Most translators translate the Arabic word Zulamat as darkness. Fanada fis Zulamati. I prefer translating Zulamat as transgression. So a more appropriate rendering will read, He called to Allah while he was in a state of transgression. What does he call out? Allah ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minas zalimin. There is no God except thou. 
Glory be to thee. I am indeed of the wrongdoers. Notice again the word Zalimun, translated as wrongdoers. So when we look at this word closely, Zalimun is a type of transgression as follows. Those who hurt themselves and or others. People who displace something from its rightful place. People who deny the truth. People who violate human rights. And people who prefer to live in the darkness of ignorance. By this definition, Prophet Jonah was both foolish and selfish at that time. He was being foolish because he mistakenly thought he could run away from the commands of Allah. He ignored Allah's instructions and became selfish because he didn't want to deliver the message of Allah to the people he was ordered to go to, which means that he violated their human rights by not giving the people Allah's message. He thought he knew better than Allah when it came to the faith of the people. Faith, F-A-T-E. Faith of the people. So we read in Surah 21 verse 88. So we responded to him. وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ مِنَ gham And saved him from distress. وَكَذَلِكَ نُجِيهُ mu'minin, And thus we save the believers. So this basically is what happened to Prophet Yunus. He is referred to as Zunun. Now this word Zunun carries with it a mutashabihat as well. An unmatched allegorical definition which refers to Prophet Yunus but it also refers to us, ourselves. The definition of Zunun is defined as one in a state of confusion. But this type of confusion is so detrimental that people who are in a state of Zunun actually believe that they are secure on the right path and that everyone else is on the wrong path. Now, let us look at the Sunni world and the Shia world. The Sunni world believes without any proof that they are the only ones that are on the right path and that everyone else is on the wrong path. The Shia world believes without any proof that they are the only ones that are on the right path and that everyone else is on the wrong path. Both the Sunnis and Shias cannot be right and neither one of them can be right. They both are clearly on the wrong. They all are in the state of Zunun. The Sunni world is being suffocated in the fish right now as we speak. And the Sunni world is being digested slowly, very slowly and surely as we speak. And this will continue until there is nothing left of them. Why? Because the Sunni world and the Shia world is running away from the message of Allah, which is the Quran. They prefer the Ahadith to the message of Allah, the Quran. They all need to get out of this state of suffocation and digestion. They all need to get out of that fish. They all need to get back to the message of Allah, the Quran. Otherwise, they will be in that state of being in the fish until the day of resurrection. So, when we have information and do not use that information for what it was intended for, then there is or there are serious negative consequences. Like what happened to Prophet Yunus. So Allah gave us a forewarning in Surah 103. Wal Asri, by the token of time. Innal insana lafikhus, verily man is in a loss. Illa lazina amanu wa amanu swalihati Except such as have faith and do righteous deeds and join together in the mutual teaching of truth and of patience and constancy. So ignoring information that can be translated into knowledge does have serious negative impact on us as individuals and as a community. So when are you going to get out of the fish? When are you going to stop being a Zunun. Until my next video, I am Ayub Karim from Quran Inspires Me. Understand the Quran to experience the revelation. Salamun Alaikum. Peace be with you.